All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, long time no see. Uh, I'll get into where I've been um, during the play of this, but uh, welcome to a game called Adios. Uh, it's a game where you're a pig farmer. I don't want to go too much into it just because I don't want to spoil any surprises for any of you, um, but I, I have had a look at, at what it is, and I think it will be something that's really... Um, really well uh, welcomed to the to us uh, or to to us to you <laughs> i should say um let's jump straight into it and see what you guys are thinking sorry if i'm a bit rusty uh talking to myself while playing games it's just it's been it has been a while oh it's been some time what's up dude I can't do this anymore. What? This. What, morning? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay and different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just, you know, done with this. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Do you want to... what that means, right? Does it have to mean anything? No, you have to throw it with X. You know that. Man, yeah, must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh-huh. Nothing I can do to change your mind. Now you are welcome to try. Hmm. Well, let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on. Hang on a minute, you said you wanted to get rid of all this fucking dead body. I wasn't finished. He's a bit creepy looking, isn't he? Mm -mm -mm. Smells delicious as always. Ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. How much that's better than your home cooking? Go on, pour the salt out. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Can't stand them. Put jalapenos in them once. Never again. Uh, I'll smash that knife. Tasty. Well, if you say so. Not to change the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Fifteen years, just about. I'll uh, smash that. You haven't even touched your eggs. Summer of 78. Why we meet? When was it? Needed the scratch. What did you need to scratch for again? Wasn't too popular with the folks back home. Had to make ends meet. I've got a cat now, by the way, so sorry if you hear some weird noises in the background. Yes. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? Jimmy was always bragging about connections back home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed, made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? Every time you visit. Thought you'd have got a better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. And it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid... His mouth moves so weird. Pink with curly tails. Yorkshire's are. Mine are red wattle. American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. You're not that old, mate. You look about 30-something. Huh. Funny name. Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. You know, it tastes good. <laughs> you aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. God, this chat is taking <sighs> fucking forever. Maybe. maybe. Anyways, Can I not drink this? I oh. read that pigs were as smart as us. It's empty. You believe that? You, uh, going somewhere with this? Nah, just 
thinking about my food. What's there to think about? Nothing, I suppose. Just never thought about it before. No what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't okay, so White Bumper like does the same thing as that. How do you know? So I'm just they're pressing buttons pigs. a minute. Pigs ain't like us. I'm sure they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you say I accompany you today? How do you reckon? Well, my visits are always so short. Figured I could help you out with some chores. Maybe figure out what's going on with your little sports truck in the garage. As long as you're okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. Sorry, cat. I don't want you on my lap because you'll end up fucking knocking the wire in. Did you follow me? Oh, you follow me like a creep. Gonna put a fucking gun to my head or something. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Happy now. Figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. Well, I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? It's blocked off. Ta-da! <whistles> Beautiful, right? Hot machines. Here I figured you had a deep, dark secret. Root beer. Have a deep root dog. beer. This here is one of my hobbies. What? Collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Well, it depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. Thanks so it's got to be punches. important to know about, remember about all these. Big camera down there. You, uh, you got any hobbies yourself? Hmm? Me? Well, who else am I talking to? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he sounds a bit like Bobby from hobby. Supernatural, if you've ever watched that show. Uh, reading, I guess. Reading isn't a hobby. Yeah, of course it's a hobby. What do you think libraries are for? Well, is that his shadow all over here? What the fuck is that? I read the paper every no, day. it's not. But reading isn't a part of your personality. It's just a thing people say they do when they don't have any other hobbies. You really believe that? Mm hmm now, He's really tall. Well, he's looking at my forehead. She said she loved the smell of books, the texture of the of the pages on her fingers. Oh, you Even can bound, you move light on your feet there. Her hobby wasn't reading; it was books. You put too much thought into this. Well, a hobby is something you do because you're passionate. About. And he's fast. If it's something you're not wholly in love with, then you're trying still to trick trying him. To figure out what you're behind him is. somehow. So, you got a problem with my passion? Well, no, no, no. You said I guess. So I wasn't listening to any of this during all that. Is love a requirement for a hobby? Absolutely. Love's a requirement for many things. Ah, uh, and so you love fixing soda machines? Mm-hmm. That is correct. Why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. And don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or things was bad or I was anxious well, I, I don't know now Sadie's sister when she passed told me that uh, told me that it was alright to cry that it wasn't weakness that it was okay and I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were and I didn't feel like I needed to cry didn't you miss her? of course I did Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I cried. Yeah, maybe that movie about the boy and the dogs? Oh, I'll always cry over that one. Dogs are good. 
innocent. And when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Yeah. But Josie insists. This is fucking weird, this game. It's just all talking. Then, I don't know. I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. And she made me it? feel like I was that I was something wrong. You want some cola? Of course that wasn't true. It wasn't nothing Drink wrong. Drink the cola, man. I just didn't I, I didn't Drink the fucking I wasn't cola. Like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. Oh, I don't want to throw it on the floor. How or why, but no. Oh. oh, there it is. It's a healing thing, and that's Get it. why a man's got to have Put it on a hobby. The... There we go. I figured if someone's got to know. Why's he stood weird now? What the fuck are you doing? Quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah. If I could fix this one up real nice. <laughs> Am I making them come out? Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this. This doesn't make a sound. Things. Yeah, it does. Taking the time to show me. There's a. Uh, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Well, what's that? If you want it. It's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? <laughs> grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. Look, I just grabbed four. Wait, Thought. I, that wasn't I, mine. I was it mine? Yeah. I didn't do that one. Please. Dr. Third. Oh, That's not what I pressed. Come on, Memento. Dr. Let's third. We can work something out. I thought it was shoveling shit, to be honest. Oh, what the fuck? I thought we were gonna sho shovel some shit. Can't jump that. Milk the goes. I don't know if there's an order I should be doing it. Fuck is this? Oh, we're playing horseshoes. Why horseshoes? Why not? Why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, Frank. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs. That's a year before I was born. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, stimulation. What color am I? I want to be... So, you play horseshoes. Mm-hmm. Or read a good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? Go fly fishing? Well, it sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked... What is that in the distance? That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Okay, I'll be blue, then. Uh, never was one for crowds. Although it's not wrong. making me... Why can't I move? There you go. In a crowd. Sadie, she, uh... That's fucking terrible. ...really see me. Understand what I was. How do you figure? Uh, what the... What? They're not even going very far. When I got back. All these people were hugging their loved ones or... Protesting or Give whatever. Me. And Can I get on here? I don't know. Fucking cheat. I felt more alone in all my life. Oh, I was home. Come on. I happy and get closer. I wasn't. No, I can't get any closer than this. It wasn't a popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah. But this is fucking... I mean, I'm winning. I got home. But I might just throw in more than him now. I'm not sure. It was dark. And... How would you even tally the scores on this shite? Fucking, he's shit. Look at all his are like literally right here. What the fuck are you doing? And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Oh, Jesus. I thought, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. They've all sorts of Fucking terrible. Back then, women love a man in uniform. 
Oh, hold to release. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what the? the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Oh, that's a burnt out house. Okay. The Gordon family. A one! Went to high school with us. But, uh, well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so fucking suck, was pretty yeah. high society. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all of that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. The poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback? Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? And yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh-huh. Uh, so then, where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. Didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh-huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And oh. they built a house. A house? W wait, that house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Uh, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Did we kill him? He built it one year. Must have been... 1966 or so, and he went inside, and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm, and boom. No more, Gary Gordon. Hey? No more. He might just... Gordon. He didn't well, disappear. He might have run off. He was lonely, too. Maybe. Yeah. All right. You win. What next? Of course I fucking won. I don't know how... I don't know why. Oh, what's that? Secret room. It's like a bomb shower thing that I might be able to run to later when he's chasing me. There's, there's anything wrong with my truck. He said he was going to look at my sports truck. I'm looking around because I have a feeling things are going to go sideways at some point. I've got to figure out what I can fucking do to get away from this guy. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. The horse. Feed the horse. Don't you have a tractor? What's that got to do with anything? Well, it... Pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Some fellas have chickens and cows, and that's all well and good, but what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what? You just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on... You're not supposed to feed the horses that many apples, are you? There's no way they can live off apples. This isn't bad. Cow for them, so you don't ride them. There's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. You're gonna feed him, then or what? And what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful. Really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those... He's got a fucking teeth. awful eyes. Who's sleeps down and out? Something wrong with that. Aren't you gonna say something? Pet the horse. Shh, shh, shh. One day. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. I have fed an apple to the horse. Fucking so hell. Suck. All right, here you go, boy. No, He's going to die in a minute. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. 
Forces give me the willies. Can't see why. Right, I've got two things to do now. Move the manure and milk the goats, which are both on this side. Can I climb up here? No. Shush, Bendy. I don't like how you just follow me everywhere. Up, oh, Bendy. I knew you could end up doing that. Oh, we're shoveling shit. We're gonna shovel ourselves some shit. What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Shit. Shit. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Yeah, you said you wanted you to fucking help, help me. Yeah. Yeah, yes I did. Now put me in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day. Mm hmm Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Someone's got to do it. Hmm. That, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. Hmm. I remember. Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. <laughs> what I found? I reckon, I reckon you'll tell me. Back. What happened that day in the valley? You saw Can't the report. Put the fucking. I'm not gonna talk about it. Oh no! Have I glitched it out? Because I've got fucking. No. He won't let me so, put it down. So there we go. Okay. <laughs> Is it still got the shit on it? <laughs> Some fucking. Shoveling shit. I was recon. You know that. Right? Was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... Oh, I'm not controlling where it goes. I'm just pushing forwards. A moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh -huh. Where am I going? The revelation was this. Them Automatic the wooden gates. Damn. Thing. The, Posh. The hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. The Ooh. new. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam, that was our first now time what do I do? close to war. So, I figured... Uh, you figured... You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon. <laughs> oh, his neck just fucking went the wrong way, didn't it? Let me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. <laughs> we pulled out a nap, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And now you're here. Ah, right, stop doing that now. Shoveling shit. Yeah. Shoveling shit. Shoveling shit. Right, last thing. Milk the goats. Oh, who's is this? It's probably Sadie, I guess. Nyong. Scoop. Right, let's milk these goats. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a I can crouch. And I had a dog. I tried cows once. Bill raised a newt or something, but uh, when it died. Yeah, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Goats are cool, man. That uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> Can't leave. No judgment, no. Uh, just wondering. Why goats? Oh, that looks dodgy. Milk. Yeah, there can't be much profit in that. Well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones 
you sever ties. I mean, you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line. Is makes me look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Yeah, goat's cheese is good. It's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milk it. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I always wanted to try that. Well... Here's your chance. I'm going to give you a boy goat to milk, if you know what I mean. Here, just walk up. Here they are. Come on. Where? Oh, no, no. Take their positions here like they should. Got feed all ready for them. Just to, you, know, you take a seat there. Uh, yeah, not very comfortable. Oh, my God. I suppose not. Yeah. Now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently pushing the milk out. Oh, like this? <laughs> Just like that. Mine's fitting. I'm not even fucking all done you anything. All you got to do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I found it really. Oh, I think I can get used oh, to this. Oh, I just skipped something. Why don't you? Do what? Why not get used to this? What? And come work with you? Sure. <laughs> Mine's just fucking feeling I'm not even doing anything. Some folks might take issue with that. Well, can't make everybody. What's he happy. wanking off with his other hand? And then up shot. He's not touching anything with that hand. You sick? Are you wanking yourself off? Hey, hey! Pew 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 pew. pew. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing this. Yum <laughs> yum yum. It's like fucking laser beams. Pium, 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 pium. I am fucking shooting him. <laughs> no. Gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? He says I'm not happy. I'm not. You could be. I don't. <laughs> Give me a little clown nose with the white dot. Ooh. Well. See ya, Gertie. And, uh, Still, uh, Flirty. About what I've been saying. I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? He's gonna kill me, I think. You know what this is? Uh, well, have you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Ah, uh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. It's not just any oh, tree, it's an American! Oh, He's telling us about his American chestnut tree. Man. Who the fuck is this guy? He's beefy, isn't he? They all die. What? He's got a tiny head. <laughs> you remember it. I used to remember things. Like the American chestnut. I guess this is the um, protege, is it? I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by and said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. He's like, he looks a bit like, uh, where's my uh, super suit? <laughs> Most American I'm gone. Died off. Oh, I can't. <laughs> true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Shimmy like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. There you go, it's a bit taller. That's almost all died out. Standing on this rock. Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. West Virginia. I thought it was a mountain mama. 
Uh, now there's trees like the general here, making nuts year round. <laughs> and I feed them to the reds. Economy. So they're real nice and fat and tasty. Things lonely. You're a really fucking ugly cunt. You know that. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So. Whoa, what are you doing? Weird stretch, you freak. I don't know. Sadie and I, we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Well, Brody's grave was enough for me. But, uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Oops. Heck no. So I spammed the microphone, so if you that heard resistant. that. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just a... I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. Uh, I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. What is he on about? He's fucking losing his mind, this guy. He's got dementia or something. Whoa. Yeah. I just... What are you creeping up on me for? So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Look at me. I am. You Stop twitching your lips. Thinking you could pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise aside, someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy would let it know about this. Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please, let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to, oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. But you got more to show me, right? Have I? I thought we were done. I did everything in the journal. I was going to say it was quite a short game. This is the way. We're turning into the fucking Mandalorian now, eh? The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. Get your hand out of my car. Sports truck. I think they're called Coupe Utility, but, uh... I mean, why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean... I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Ew, your shoes are really so gross. I love you so much. Uh, one day, they're really uh, gross, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had to bring her home with me. They look like you're wearing like Barbie's play yeah. shoes. They're yeah. really disgusting. No? Well, pop the hood. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to you squat sure. in front of you again. Sure, already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> motorcycle, sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Pop the hood. I can... How do I get into the car? Oh. Now, let's see here. Jeez, that's a big engine. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Sure thing. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul. He's a good kid. I like him. Oh. It was nice, him coming by. Oh. Yeah? That's good to hear. Fucking clothes on his head. I've never met anyone with so oh. much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Just to think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. Can you believe we were his age once? Hmm. <laughs> Hard to admit. When I 
was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, learn something new every day, I suppose. How often do something just looking at it? Give me a second. Oh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Hey, how old has he been? Uh, born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Are we supposed to be the same age? Roy would have been about his age. Yeah? What's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? Ew, look at his underbite when he talks from the side. What about Sadie? Go on, say something. Uh, yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Oh. Mm -hmm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. You know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Yeah, I have the foggiest. Well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. The biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? Asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wires loose here. Where? Right there. So, what do you say? Right where? You didn't fucking do anything. Your hands haven't moved. Then Weird then gangly long arms and fingers like bloody Voldemort. What? What the a dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Look at that yeah, neck curve. Gone. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is I'm stuck on the created nor on it. Oh, there you go. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. Well, want to try running it? Sure. All right. Didn't even open it. Looks like she'll give you a few more years yet. Didn't even turn it open the door. Remember Slick? Sure. He always wanted one of these. Where is he now? Fighting Sedan. See if you tried to find out. Classified, I heard. Good kid. Oh. Angry. Well, maybe when he gets back. Uh, Thinking of giving him the car is what? Thanks for his service? I never wanted to be thankful. Mine, but that boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto of his. <laughs> yeah. Well, where to next? No idea, mate. To the field where you shoot. Oh, shit. Shotguns, huh? I always liked shotguns. Liked? Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's the sport. I've got a few of those. Oh yeah, what's your favorite? A big slab style. To have a, a charisma. What about you? Oh, nothing special really. 357's when I can. But a shotgun. Yeah. Surely there's a thing to knock that cone skeet. off his head. Always like shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. Can do it without aiming in. Good one there. Oh, damn. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? I'll go first. Alright then. This is more my speed. Hang out, shooting guns. Take a few beers next time. Not sure.
sure guns and beers mix, friend. Oh, sure they do. Come on, team butter and very different chocolate. Next time. Next time. And there isn't gonna be a next time. Oh, there's always oh. a next time. Oh. Today we are I tried to tell him I keep trying to clear it up. Oh shit, it makes me that. Permanent. Look. Then it's kaput. Ho! I don't mean it. That's the way it's Ho! gotta be. You have You haven't listened to a word I've said. So it's basically I've saying... I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reason. Fucking calm down, mate. I was shooting the fucking head. But they were mine. Lock me in the car. Bitch. So he's not going first? What? I mean, he doesn't get to have a go. So. This is it then. It is. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to do it all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's gotta be something. Gotta be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. You've just told me I can't Do stop. You. What are you on about, you fucking hell. retard? Do you believe in hell? I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believe. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... <laughs> I think doing this. I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something. Why? Why does it keep cutting the fucking audio you. off? That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure. I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. How do you know? How do you know any of this is true? I don't know. But I got the notion. And the notion's got me. I can do is uh, tell you adios. Just like that. What else is there to say? Not much, I guess. No. All right then. Have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. Just stay in. Oh. So I get the afternoon. What does that mean? What can I do now? How do I get out of here? Might as well check on the horse first, I guess. The horse part two. Granny Smith, just like your wife, you're a good boy. Good boy. You've been real good to me. That's got a donkey head. That is not a horse head, by the way. Brought me a lot of good luck. Good times. Without you, I, I don't, uh, 
I don't know. I do not know. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. Oh, you want to leave? You go find someone else. I figure I'll just go. I'll leave you to it. It's quite a sad thingy, really, actually, isn't it? Once let's catch the fucking fish. Where do I do that? It's got to be something all the way down here. Otherwise, why would it let me run all the way down here? Don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. There's a lake. Just where I catch the fish, maybe. It's got to be where I catch the fish. So that wasn't Admiral, that was just some other random catfish. Come on. Caught him quick. I will catch this fish. Come on. Ooh, nice it's gonna be a case that there is no fucking admiral. There we go, got him. He's pretty big. Call the boy and call the neighbour. Another building over here. I want to go see what this is. Nothing, I can't go in there. Why well, have a random building out here if you can't do anything with it? Alright, I've got to go back to the house now. I have a feeling he's just going to rock up randomly at some point. It's going to be a bit freaky. Can't go up there. This is my farm. Let me in. What the fuck? Let me in my farm, man. Can I just drive off in the car? I want to see if I can just drive off in the car in a minute. No, I can't. It's a shame. Right, call the boy and call. Where's my phone? Do I have a phone? Where's my fucking phone? I'm not going to let me use any of these to kill him. If he comes back. I'm not that I want to kill it. It sounds like I want to die. I'm trying to find my phone so I can ring. My... Uh -huh. Come on, come on, come on, pick up. Please pick up. Dad? Bill. Your note was me. Call her ID. I, I don't.
don't know what that is. <laughs> Tells me who's calling. Oh, that's uh, that's some real. I didn't realize they had that back in the early nineties. Uh-huh. Actually. Listen, I'm busy. Oh, he's. Why are you calling? Oh, okay. Oh, well, let me say all those things. Okay. Hadn't talked in a while. And whose fault is that? Hmm. I... Can't we just... Can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? How are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse. Because, God forbid, I actually look after my sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you, and you put her in a home. No, I I didn't know what to do. The doctors there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some terrifying boogeyman. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what? I'm getting fucking roasted here. And why would it let me say certain things? Money. You and your damn money. Cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. Hey. I loved you both. I did everything for you. Everything. Yeah, right. Bill. I, I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B- Bill, Bill, I just, I just called to say. Say what? Sorry? Did you know I visited her? I found out where you put her, and I visited her. Good. Uh, they said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. She wept and she sobbed and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? So I've gone really quiet. Quite a heavy phone call, isn't it? No, Bill, Bill, I... Save it. Talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. I just wanted to tell you goodbye, Bill. I've got some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. Uh, I'm still trying. Damn. Time for Edith. And then is this the end? Hey, Edie. It's... Oh, hey, you. How you doing? You know, I was just talking about you with Garth the other day. I said, Garth, you know we ought to visit... Yeah, Edie, listen, uh, I don't mean to interrupt, it's just, uh, uh, I'm on a tight schedule, and uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, all right? A favor? Sure, what you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? I was uh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered, you know, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh... uh, Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there. Sorry. Cats. (laughs) Anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, yeah, the animals. Uh, I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. But, But if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all. Not at all. We're happy to be 
imposed upon. You've been a good neighbor for so long. I'm glad you called Thank me you. today. Oh, hey, sorry, I'll just cut you off again. Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids, and I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. Well, I appreciate Sounds like Edie wants a threesome, I reckon. I don't think She's keen. I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Oh, it's, uh... It's been real. Yeah, I fucking bored of that phone call, Edie. You chat my fucking... <laughs> you cut a phone call short. Got an excuse. We had some good times, Brody. I remember Doug coming over, remarking on your coat. Said you didn't need no training. He'd put you with his bird dogs and you'd figure out what to do. Well, he was right. You came a waddling over out of that lake, duck in your mouth, proud as ever. <laughs> you wouldn't give that duck up. But you got the hang of it. Uh, Doug and I, we, we had a falling out. I haven't spoken to him since. Well, he passed, so no point reminiscing, I guess. Good boy. Good boy. You want to know something, Brody? I always... I always believe dogs go to heaven. He's not a movie. All dogs is fundamentally good. Now, even the mean ones, they're good, too. They just... You know, hurt or starving or you know, itchy sick, ear. scared. Ah. So, uh, I don't know where you are. And I know Sadie's probably with you right now. I done wrong, Brody. I done a lot of wrong. <sighs> and I don't know if I can make up for it. I want to tell you I'll see you soon, but the truth is I do not know. I don't know if I was good enough for you. Or her. I don't know if I did my best. So, uh... Well... This may be goodbye. Oh, I hope he gets to go to heaven, this bloke. I love you. And I miss you all the same. The shotgun's gone. Oh. Cook a meal. What am I cooking? What have we got in the fridge, eh? Got steak. Get me the fucking steak. Put that on there. Carrots in the pot. Steak and carrots. What the fuck has steak and carrots? Almost burning that steak already. Fuck me. Oh fuck! Fuck do I do? Ah, oh, mistake. Can I eat it? What the fuck? What am I doing? Oh, no. I'm trying to cook a fucking meal, man. I can add it to that. Fuck it, we'll just chuck everything in here. Fuck it. What's that? A bag of what? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? Whoa, where'd it go? This is a taco. That food looks disgusting. Am I going to kill him or not? 
Am I deciding what to do? Can't do anything, I can't move. He seemed like a good guy anyway, even though he's a killer. <laughs> hey, man. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the end. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick and sudden. That was... A bit odd. ED played ED. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, quick but strange game here. Thankfully, it was on the Game Pass or Games of Gold, one or the other, so I didn't actually pay for that. Um, I just wasn't expecting that guy to come in and just shoot me like that super quick and easy. I thought we're going to. I don't know what the point of the shotgun was, um, to be honest. Bit odd. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like, I'm back now. Like I said, um, the reason I've been away, I've just had some personal stuff to do with the family um, and we went on holiday as well. Um, but I'm back now and now that I've got this down and I've got some other things to record, you know, we'll have a couple of days uh, or a few more videos of fun. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.